Today Food is sponsored by Cafe Bustelo. Cafe Bustelo. Esta aquí. It's always comforting to make a family recipe, but sometimes you need to tweak a little so it's a little easier and quicker because we're busy. Yes. We need to save some time. And we're so lucky because we have celebrity chef and author Ingrid Hoffman. She started cooking with her mom as a little girl, and today she's simplifying her family's seafood paella. Oh, we love paella. We love but paella. It totally but it's, it always like, seems complex, doesn't no. it? Listen, ladies, okay. first of all, I'm so excited We're to be back here. 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 And most important, we are kicking off Hispanic Heritage yes. Month yes. We're excited. with my easy, simple, simple Jana's yes, award. We want that. Simple okay. shrimp and scallop paella. And okay. this paella is so simple. But so when, when really? your mom made this, you're simplifying it. Was it an all day affair? Well, let me first say, although I'm Colombian, my mom's Colombian family came from Spain. Okay. And when I sit and watch my Spanish family make this paella, yes. I'm like, oh my God, I'll never be able to make right. that. It's I make it. So yeah. I do want to say, and Spaniards, don't get upset at me, but we're going to do the Ingrid paella, which means that you at home, even your 12 year old child, can, can make it. it. Okay. So All that's right. what it is. Good. We we're like starting with Spanish chorizo. Yeah. So we're, this, we're starting with this. Spanish chorizo, okay. which is a smoky paprika chorizo. If you cannot find smoky uh, chorizo, Spanish chorizo, you just do any you do sausage, you. sausage you add get. some paprika, and that's okay. it. We previously, because it's the magic of TV, oh yeah, we got help great helpers. What, what do we got? That? Onions. <laughs> Garlic, garlic, red peppers, green peppers, Beautiful. that's already cooked. Did you, you mince the garlic, Ingrid? You minced the you garlic, okay. and now we're adding the, the chorizo. 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 Imagine that that's going to cook about six minutes, but we're going to fast, put everything what, fast what along. This? this is saffron. This is the so beauty. Now, you cannot make a paella without, without saffron. Okay. Saffron is the key ingredient, and actually, may I have oh, yeah, a yeah. little bit of this ladle? This? Put it right there in the center. Is that chicken stock? Chicken stock, I want to bloom my um, saffron the saffron and you can so you use saffron for just any recipe for now one scoop i just okay. want that, to that blend tomato it. paste three tablespoons of tomato paste okay. and then we're gonna do okay. the rice is the rice just cook in there you we want to first kind of coat the rice with coat everything it. that's in there uh -huh. kind of toast it a little bit okay. Okay. and then we're gonna start adding the liquids here What's is that? a can of tomatoes and again i said i'm doing the ingrid version yeah, of the yeah. cake. So a little bit of salt. Okay. We need some for good luck, guys. Salt for everyone. Okay. 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 So now the trick is, and here's the technique to an amazing paella. The mm -hmm. classic is that you ladle in little by little the stock. It oh, has to be long? hot. You know, honestly, I'll tell you, I my I don't have the attention span. Yes. So I normally boom. Yes. And I put it all in. And that's okay. And that's it. But you can it comes out it fine and you, then you stir. if you want to do it slow, the, and you slow. slow. You wait till it starts drying up, and every and time then, it oh, starts drying you up, add a little more. you add a little bit. We're using arborio rice, which yeah. is arroz bomba, the yeah. classic. It's a short grain rice. Really, if you can't find it, just use whatever. But can you get this everywhere? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Short grain mm -hmm. rice, yes. Sure. And arroz bomba, obviously. Okay. Uh, not everywhere, yeah. but short grain rice, how just long, do it. How long is that cooking, Ingrid? We're going to let that sit and cook, then we add more yeah. liquid. So it's all, okay. Imagine that all the liquid is okay, in there already. We're going to let that ten. Now we move on. We have seafood. If you want to yes. do it vegan, we've got shrimp. I'm going to put have a little bit of olive oil in there. Beautiful. We've got Scallop. the scallops. And more saffron. More saffron. Yeah. Saffron is okay, the most important part. Okay, that's the key. Because one thing that I don't do is I don't put the seafood from the beginning. And the reason why I don't do that is I hate my seafood overcooked. Yeah. yeah. Now, if you want to do this vegan, you can do tofu, tempa. Something you else. can uh, omit the chorizo, just do veggies. Mm -hmm. We mix, mix, mix this in. This goes on top of this one. Oh, That's you put it on top and put it in the oven? And then I don't put it in the oven. Oh, I cover it up oh. and I leave it. A lot of people say, oh, you don't cover that up. No, and so you, you place it all on top and then just leave it? And leave then it on the stove and it cooks? cover it and like cover six it. minutes because seafood cooks through very fast, which is why I don't like sticking in it from the beginning because yeah. then you're going to have rubbery. And so, how is that, guys? It's delicious. Mm. And mm. you top it off with lemon wedges to make it look really pretty. This oh is God. an all-in-one pot meal. Mm -hmm. You can do this weekday with chori uh, without the chorizo. You can do with mm. chicken and Scalp. pork Yummy. if you yeah, want to leave it inexpensive. It or it's great for parties. You can make it ahead and just heat it up in mm -hmm. boiling water. Mm. I do want to say it's Hispanic Heritage Month. I want to thank the humans who feed us, our farmers, yeah. who is the reason, our migrant farmers, that we get to eat and yes. have this bounty 
the gotcha. feet. So I think that it's, it's befitting that it's Hispanic Heritage Month that I want to say thank you. Yeah. And thank you for having me, guys. Love you. And thank Thanks, you to Ingram. you. And for this incredible recipe, go to today.com slash food.